Imagine you're in a jungle and a tiger suddenly appears. What do you do? Well, you have three options. There's fight. You could grab the nearest tree branch and try to get the first blow. There's flight. You could try to outrun the tiger. Or there's freeze. You could stand as still as possible and hope that the tiger doesn't notice you. Now this freezing is probably a bit like what is happening in a psychiatric illness known as catatonia. Catatonia affects a person's movements, often causing them to remain in one position, even if someone else moves them. It affects their speech, causing them to be silent or just echo fragments of what they've heard. And it affects a person's behaviour, sometimes causing them not to respond to what's going on around them or causing them to stop eating or drinking. Catatonia usually happens as part of a mental illness such as depression or schizophrenia, but it can also occur in some brain diseases like infection or inflammation. There aren't any tests that can diagnose catatonia, but there are some tests that can help in checking a person's general health and in finding out whether there is another problem underneath the catatonia. These might include taking your pulse and blood pressure, having a blood test, or having a brain scan. The main treatment for catatonia is a group of medications called benzodiazepines. These are usually thought of as sedative medications that make you drowsy. But in catatonia, they can make a person seem more alert, perhaps because they relieve some anxiety. If you think you or someone close to you may be experiencing catatonia, it is really important to get help from your doctor. Family members have a very important role to play by supporting a person with catatonia and helping them to feel comfortable. If you want more information, have a look at our website.